LeVar is back out of hiding and he's coming at another NBA player. Hello and welcome to The Fumble here in LA. I'm Crystal Rich. Click the subscribe button below to join our notification squad and stay up to date on the latest sports news. And you can follow me on social media at Crystal Rich. When you go more than a week without hearing anything from LeVar, it almost feels like he's hiding. I mean, what can he possibly say now? Lonzo and the Lakers are in the playoffs. He's taking LaMelo out of Lithuania. What is there to talk about? Well, I knew we wouldn't have to wait too long with LeVar. He's now talking about Kawhi Leonard. Yep, good old LeVar said that Lonzo is better than Kawhi. Sure, he hasn't played much this season, but that's exactly it. It's only been this season. Kawhi is a seasoned player. While at ESPN, the hypothetical scenario was posed of Kawhi being traded to the Lakers for Lonzo. LeVar's response was, well, classic LeVar. He said, stop it. I'm going to tell you why that won't happen. You know what Lonzo is to me? Jello is the pretty boy. Melo is my wow boy, but Zoe is the people's choice. Honestly, the way y'all defend Zoe in the comments, maybe he isn't wrong, but that doesn't make him better than Kawhi Leonard, a healthy Kawhi Leonard. LeVar went on to say, they wouldn't let it happen. You can't get rid of Zoe, he's the people's choice. Everyone on the outside can say what they want, but when you put it down on paper, the ball boys are good for business. I can agree with LeVar on this point. I don't think Lonzo is going anywhere. Why would the Spurs want him when he still has a lot of improving to do? We didn't forget about that rookie season, 36 field goal percentage, Lonzo. But come on, y'all, this is LeVar we're talking about. Of course he had more to say. At ESPN LA, LeVar said that Lonzo makes everyone on the team better. How, Sway? No diss to Lonzo because he's still young and working on his game. He's had his shining moments, but we're talking about someone who averages 10.2 points per game. By all means, like Lonzo. But feelings aren't facts, folks. And if you just started to pay attention to basketball, Google Kawhi Leonard. Tell LeVar to get Lonzo to beat LeBron in the finals like Kawhi did before he says another word. Why not sway this combo over to a guy like Donovan Mitchell because who even cared about the Jazz besides Utah before Mitchell got there? What about a guy like Ben Simmons who led the Sixers to the most consecutive wins and helped them advance in the semis for the first time since 2012? But all of this talk, about 10 points per game. Lonzo, I like you, but get your dad. LeVar said, you put Kawhi on there, he won't make everyone better. He's going to do his thing. He's a specialty guy. Kawhi might be a specialty guy, but the comparison is grim. We're talking about a guy who makes at least half of his shots. I know there are a lot of Lonzo and LeVar fans out there, and I know you guys will defend him until you're blue in the face. So let me know, do you think Lonzo is better than a healthy Kawhi? And would it benefit either team if that trade actually happened? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble, I'm Crystal Rich.